Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bro Show. I'm Jensen, and today we're back with another video. Because today I'm show you every match type option available in WWE 2K24. And this is I just did this video because I wanted to, no no specific reason, just because I feel like doing something. So you have the one on one matches, normal spell cup anywhere, backstage brawl, ladder, table, TLC, heck in a cell, steel cage, iron man, last man standing, no holds bar submission, extreme rules, special guest referee match, casket match, and an ambulance match, and all the rules I would assume are customizable. Let's just go through some that I know that I think might be customizable. You could customize false count anywhere, you could customize your normal matches, your backstage brawl. I don't know. Can you customize that? Yep. Uh, so you can turn pinfall submission on, and you can turn KO on. Uh, time limit. You can do time limit if you want to. Uh, finishers, which is always optional. Weapon wheel. Uh, here's the thing about the weapon wheel. I don't think it makes a difference because I don't think it would give you like you can't pull uh what's it called you can't pull a weapon from anywhere in a backstage brawl but I, maybe it might give you something uh ladder matches are not customizable except for time limit and the entrance running why is that not interesting so that all it is is the time limit most some of these matches will only have like a time limit as a major not major but as some customization so tables matches this is the one simulation that you can actually get pretty creative with you can get a two out of three balls you can get an Iron Man match uh, time limit entrance run-in I guess you can just turn this on or off post match run-in how would that even work in a tables match okay uh, finishers as as you know finishers your default health and one you only have six weapon wheel four weapon wheel five weapon wheel slots because one is locked only for tables so uh, next stipulation you have the TLC the same as the ladder match you can pretty much just do uh, pinfall submission I'm mean, not pinfall submission but uh Oh wait a minute, hold on, you could do a pinfall or submission in a TLC match? Interesting. Uh time limit and uh one uh weapon slot is locked to a ladder. So I wanna try a TLC match with pinfall or submission. How would that work? Uh heck in itself, nothing customizable but Pinball submission into a default Iron Man such as KO, which is good if you want to try to do like an I quit match, something like that. Time limit, health, and finishers, and the full weapon wheel. Oh, that's so that's this is the default weapon wheel you'll get. Interesting. Okay. Next up, we have Steel Cage. Nothing really, nothing much. Pinball submission. You turn it on or off. Perform finisher to win is not a. Why is wait? No, perform finisher to win is available. You just have to turn off climatic cage only. So you can do different things with this. You just can't do uh, last minute standing, which would kind of be cool, I guess. Not really. Uh. Uh, so you have to set a win condition for everything. Uh, t just the time limit. That's it. Um, finisher to start that. Uh, you can change what color you want the cage type. Also for hanging the cell, so you can change what color you want it. Uh, so this it's okay. Options aren't there's not many options like four options. Um, yeah, weapon wheel is completely locked. You can't use any weapons. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Iron Man match. It's kind of generic. I mean, you can turn off the pinballs and submission and do like finishers, which you can't do like anything else. Just finishers, submission only, pinball only, or both. So that's about it. Uh, ring count. You can change the ring count, DQ, you can turn that on or off. 
Uh, rope or fall count anywhere. You can turn that on or off. Time limit, it just post match, such, such, such. And an Iron Man match? How? Okay. Finishes to start a match. Obviously, you can change that up. Health, whatever you wanted to. You get the full weapon wheel available. Next up, we have the last man standing match. Yeah, it's just, it's just nothing here to. Yeah, this thing is pretty boring. Well, you can turn on DQ if you want, and a ring count, a 20 count. Goodness, you can turn on a ring count, or that's about it. Time limit. So, okay, you know, finishers. Just, just, just really about it. It's kind of generic. Uh, you can change up the whole weapon wheel, whatever you want. No holes barred. Pretty much a no DQ. Except a pinball submission to it. You can still ch change it up. Pretty much all of this is the same. Knockout off. So, and obviously, you can do first blood, which is available in any one on one match. Or I think it works in like a six man match too. First blood before finishing the way of last man standing. Such and such. So, which is, for instance, so your first blood, first one to bleed wins. Uh, time limit, obviously time limit is always going to be available to you no matter what match you play except for war games and an ambulance match. And cast huh? will and uh, you know, you can change up the whole weapon wheel if you want. Uh, no holds bar submission match. It's, you just gonna have to cut them. <laughs> so it's actually locked to submission only. You can set two active balls, Iron Man match. You can't turn on KO or anything, just those two. Because it's win by submission. DQ on or off. Ring count. You change up the ring count. Time limit. Uh, obviously the health and stuff like that. Health and finishers. And weapon wheel. So that's all the one-on-one -on -one matches that I know of. But let's see what one-on-one -on -one, uh, extreme rules. Every match is customizable, except I would imagine the ambulance match. Oh wow! So the ambulance match is not customizable at all whatsoever. You you can't customize it, but the weapon will. Dang, really? Not even a time limit for it? Can you customize a casket match? No. Oh. No, you can't customize a casket? My dude, that's that's just generic. A uh, special gift up for rematch? I would imagine you can just uh, just normal stuff. Uh, Iron Man, yep. Pinfall switch to the boss on first blood. Question is, will first blood be on both? Oh, you can't! So you can't do first blood matches in a special guest referee. That's that's actually kind of disappointing. Uh, DQ's on. So this is just pretty much limited to Iron Man matches. Special fall count. Pretty much like a generic false count anywhere. Iron Man, 20 falls, so, stuff like that. Uh full weapon wheel customization wow so you, wow that's a, that's a shame uh let's see two on two matches backstage brawl mixed gender tag now with the mixed gender tag if you turn on uh I don't know let's just say no DQ then you, you slick and maybe if a woman try to get like mess you up with the pin count you want to give revenge? It's still gonna disqualify you, my my man. I tried. It, it doesn't work like that. Uh, tornado tag team matches. Uh, c fully customizable. You can pull and finish it away. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole VS. It's, you know the deal. Boss count anywhere. No DQ. Such and such. Uh, weapon wheel fully customizable. Your extreme rules customizable. There's nothing you can't do in an extreme rules match. Pinfall submission off, see perform finish the win first blood. Uh KO. So very customizable. Uh 
You can do time limit. Every most matches you can do time limits. And let's see, ladder tag, pretty generic. Same as normal ladder matches. So all the tag team matches are all going to be the same as normal ones. Uh, no stipulation, so you can actually just do two at the falls. Um, to the falls, Iron Man can't do KO. Elimination, you can turn it on because there's multiple people in it. And yeah, uh, five weapon slots. So yeah, every tag team match is gonna be the same as the other ones. Um, so it's pretty, pretty limited for certain things. Uh, that's about it. Uh, now moving on to the triple threats, backstage brawl. Let's just see. So you can do knockout to the falls. I think perform a yep, perform finish your first blood. You can turn a pinfall submission on, which I want to kind of do that just so I can see if the referee will show up. Or would it just count? Uh, everything's the same for triple threat matches. TLC, you only be able to set a time limit, table match, Iron Man. Uh, you can do two of the balls or Iron Man. Same ladder match, it's pretty much the same. Time limit is the only option. Actually, hold on, I take that back. You can't even pin or submit in this one. Okay. Happy we check tables match. Can't pin or submit. Uh, still the same old rules though. TLC, same. Uh, you can just set time limit. Pinball submission. Uh, submission only pinball only. What well, defeats the purpose of a TLC match? Uh, steel cage. Climb out the cage only. You can do Iron Man steel cage matches, which it, it sounds like nobody will win that. But it's interesting to do. I, I'll be able to do it. Um, heck of a tail, same old, same old. Knockout Iron Man. It's just pretty much generic. Extreme rules, the same as regular extreme rules. Falls count anywhere, same. Fatal four way, same thing applies for all the fatal four way stuff. Battle Royals, on the other hand, it's just, it's just a time limit. That, that's that's, a, that's it. Oh, and you can't get weapons. Yeah. Oh, so it shows you can um, do a weapon wheel, but you can't even get the weapon from a, in a battle royal. So, not knowing that, why is it even an optional as an option? Stream rules, same. Fire, fire cut anywhere, same. Uh, all the five mans and stuff are all the same. Six bands is where it gets interesting. Normals are the same, except for the fact that DQ is off. Or no DQ in a six man tag team match. Is this a normal tag team match? What? Oh, that's six man normal. <laughs> My bad. Six man matches, normal matches. You can customize it. Um, it's all the same as the one on one matches. Tag team matches. Um,. Pretty much the same as regular tag team matches. All this is the same. Tornado tag, triple threat tornado tag. It's interesting, really not going to make a difference. Uh, elimination chamber. Now, you can turn a pinball submission off. You want to finish your only, finish your win. Elimination chamber, go ahead. Knockout on, go ahead. It's up to you. I don't, but you can't do a first blood elimination chamber, I would imagine. Nope, can't do first blood. Dang. Okay. But elimination chamber is just gonna have generic. Why is a weapon wheel option? You can't get weapons. But yeah. next up is the battle royals. Uh, it's just a time limit. That's 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 all you can do, man. 2K lagging. I mean, can we get more interesting matches or at least more interesting customizations? Uh, ladder match, standard. Time limit. That that that's about it. Uh, next up, uh, ladder tags. Same old, same old. Time limit. 
Finisher by finishes in health and customizable weapon wheel. Next, so uh, all of his tag team matches, all the tags are just gonna be the same. Triple deck tags, same table tags. You can just put elimination on them at a time limit. It's all the same going down the line, except when it comes to uh, heck in a cell. You can do uh, Iron Man matches in there, knockout, fifth ball submission, uh, perform a finisher to win, if I'm not mistaken, is an option? Is it? Yes, perform a finisher to win is an option. Uh, time limit. That's about it. You can't do an elimination one. I would be very intrigued if you could do one. Actually, I would be very intrigued. Like, oh snap, you can do elimination on it. Uh, they have the red one that you can't see in. And they have the, the gray one, which is okay. And then they have, oh, uh, they just have the, oh, a rusted one. Okay, okay. So both are bad. Okay, next up. Weapon wheel is fully customizable, so add any weapons you want in there. Except for ladders. Why can't we do ladders? What, 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 why? What, what, what's the problem with doing ladders in there? Come on, man, 2K. Fix that. Come on. Make this game actually worth spending the 60 something dollars or 50 something bucks on. Come on. Uh, table tag with the tag, TLC tag. Everything's pretty much generic. Eight man tag team matches. Pretty much generic. They have fatal four tornado tags, which is okay. But why don't we have four v four tornado tag matches? Since y'all can't give us five v fives, because they yeah uh, they don't have the skill to. You know that's right. I'm calling them out. They don't have the skills. The 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 they don't have what it takes. Uh, to make a 5v5 game and have 5v5s but can you at least give a four-way tornado tag team matches what come on man i mean four-way tag team 4v4 tag tornado tag matches come on man make that happen also you can't do 4v4 table tag matches which why i don't know like i said they don't have the skills to do it uh everything's pretty much the same all around Broy rumbles now they have eight person, ten people. I'm sorry. There's never once, never once, I saw an eight superstar Royal Rumble possible when you select the Royal Rumble option. But the only thing is, is the entrance intervals. That's about it. That's it. You can set it for like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 120, 150, 180, 240, 300, which is like five minutes. Um, the health of stuff. Weapon wheel doesn't matter because you can't grab weapons from under the apron. Why? I know people don't, it doesn't really happen because WWE never really does it. But wouldn't that be cool though to be able to grab weapons in a Royal Rumble? Make that happen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Make that happen. Or at least have weapon wheel locked like you do for a uh, elimination chamber. That would make more sense. Okay? Make more sense. Except handicap matches, fully customizable, knockout on, and especially you you also do uh, elimination, so kind of help you help your odds out. Pinfall submission, KO stuff like that, ring count, rope break, automatic DQ on or off, time limit, elimination like I said, uh, health, which I guess is okay. And now with the new system, like the new tag system, uh, handicap matches will actually be more possible to win. So, uh, tornado tag matches, uh, that's a nightmare. That honestly is a nightmare. Cap matches, customize it like that. Uh, one on three tags uh, was just uh, the same. It's all the same. Next is... 1v3 handicap matches and it's the same as 1v2 handicap I'm sorry 2v3 handicap matches it's just just you were like a teammate it's the same old, same thing I really wish we have like 1v4 2v4 3v4 
That would be awesome. Uh, war games, 4v4, 3v3, nothing much there, but you can force your opponent out the war games, and that's about it. Yeah. They caught lacking. Interest intervals, health, weapon wheel, stuff like that. Can't add a ladder in there, because 2K, once again, does not have the creativity to put ladders in it. Or just ex or because they can't just put it in there because they're not skilled enough. But hey, not my. Nah, 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 nah. I would like to note that the war games match itself is very generic, and that I and I apologize for thinking there should be more to a war games match when there's not much there to start with. Uh, you know, not a computer game. Maybe there's some techno technical stuff, or maybe they just don't have the creative mind it takes to try to put a ladder inside war games you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying putting a ladder inside war games you gotta have some creativity 4v4 is the same as 3v3s and that my boys and girls is not all gauntlet matches <laughs> you guys actually thought this was the end of the video gotcha gauntlet matches are we'll start off with the regular gauntlets so gauntlet uh, pinball submission can be turned on or off so it's the same as normal 1v1s as normal 1v1 matches next up is over the top you can't turn that on but who would try uh, first blood KO stuff like that so you can do eliminations automatically turn off wow I did not know that I would assume I thought gone the matches had elimination turned on DQ uh, ring count no count by default oh you can't even turn ring count wow but you can set it to non existing so you can't even non no exiting so you can uh, don't even have to worry about exiting the ring but vitality recoveries between falls okay so you can regain some health between falls, so you can gain a low amount of health, a medium, or a high amount of health. Wow, I didn't even know that was an option. That's pretty cool. Uh, ring ring count though should be on. Kind of a bummer. Weapon wheel fully customizable. Um, that's about it for regular gauntlets. Next is gauntlet eliminator. Um, that's the one where multiple people, like up to eight people, can come in at once. You know. Like one at a time, like a Royal Rumble, without getting thrown over the top rope. Speaking of, you can't turn that feature on, which kind of sucks. Let's just be real. KO, you can turn that one on. Yeah, so I realized when I edited this that if I wanted that feature, I could just play 8-man uh, Battle Royal. Yep, that's all. Let's just continue with the rest of the video. My bad. Boss mission off. And oh, you can do finisher, first blood, such as, yeah, such as such. Um, DQ is on. DQ is turned on. Okay. And what world do we live in where disqualification is on in a gauntlet eliminator? What? Maybe I'm maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I might just be going crazy. Maybe it's just on. Nah, that says it's on. What? Okay. Rope break on. <laughs> Ring count, no count, obviously, because, you know, there's a, there's a gun limit, but I'm still stuck on, like, ring capacity off up to four. Okay, so this is interesting. There's a ring capacity setting where you can or have no capacity, only eight people in the ring at a time. So what's the point of having that feature? I mean, well, I guess it's kind of useful because you can have a uh, four people in it. Uh, Gauntlet turmoil, pretty same, pretty much the same as a uh, I'm gonna say a casket match. Um, a Handicap match, but what did I mean? What I'm just I have to try a few of these settings in real game, in like real 
actual gameplay to see how they work. But yeah, this was a pretty uh, interesting video. If if you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications to this video. The next subscriber will be our 500 subscribers, and that person will be getting a shout out, a mystery gift, and a special video request if they want it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, this was uh, this was something. It, it was something. Some I was surprised that you couldn't do. Some I was surprised you could do. And overall, y'all yeah, let me know what you think about this. Uh, the because the match options, I think it's kind of lacking in some areas. I think it's... Nah, it's just lacking. My bad. I'm sorry. It's just kind of lacking overall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, somebody make that a post on their website. Uh, create match types are lacking. Uh -huh. All caps. Tell me from the bro show. Alright. Hey, but look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on all notifications so you never miss a bro show upload. Have a free five subscribers. Which for one subscriber away, bro. Uh, yeah. But if we reach five subscribers, I'm probably going to make an announcement on it. Probably just do some talking about it. I'm just going to be, it's going to be awesome. We're one step away. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.